Mark of the Ninja is an exquisite take on the stealth genre. Its attractive graphics and side-scrolling viewpoint emphasize the feel of a living comic, and the cutscenes only add to this. Throw in the fact that the story is not only cohesive, but captivating, and you've got yourself the basis for a solid game of the year. The main aspect of Mark of the Ninja is choice. You can try to kill every enemy in each level, or ghost past them. There is a huge emphasis on speed and fluidity that few other games have managed to achieve. The tight controls and 2D platform make it far easier to manoeuvre around the map than it would be if the game was in 3D. After completing the game once, the chances are you'll have unlocked plenty of equipment for each playstyle, and I promise you'll want to go back and explore it all. The game may only take you 8 to 12 hours to fully complete, but it's a day well spent. The developers certainly pushed for quality over quantity, yet managed to achieve both with this title. When you start out, everything feels slow and clunky, but this only adds to the satisfaction later when you're gliding through a level effortlessly. There are so many tiny details that make this game what it is, such as the ability to see audio cues like footsteps or conversations between enemies. The variation in level and enemy design builds upon a small idea to create a full-fledged, self-contained universe. Nothing has been overlooked with Mark of the Ninja's playstyles or loadouts. All of the equipment is balanced to keep the game challenging, with some outfits granting abilities like silent running, but with the sacrifice of not being able to carry a sword. This attention to detail is what makes me love this game and what made me go back to it again and again after completion. I want to explore every map, I want to finish every level with every playstyle, I want to master this game in every way possible, and that is the telltale sign of a great game. This was clearly a passion project for the developers, and I'm glad Microsoft fronted the money to put it into development. Mark of the Ninja is the kind of game that the market needs to see more of small, well-put-together titles that outshine so-called AAA games for the sheer fact that they're created to be entertaining first and make money as a consequence of their quality.